Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building the Norfolk Southern SD70 ACC in Minecraft. Now this is uh, another Norfolk Southern locomotive. And tomorrow's locomotive train is going to be a uh, uh, Union Pacific DMD SD70M, which is far over in the distance. So far I can't see it. It's not that train over there that's so it's farther. I'm not gonna show it to you guys since it's really far. But um anyway, so let's get started on the Norfolk Southern SD70 ACE. So let's get started. So let's grab a uh, black concrete, nether brick stairs. And that's really it for now. Oh, maybe another brick slab and a chalk wire hook as well. And then we'll start off with three nether brick slabs. Or not slabs. Stairs. With some on the corners on the on the side. And then after that we're gonna add a five black concrete with another brick slab in the middle with chalk wire hooks on the sides for the coupling and then we're gonna make the middle part 33 blocks long so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 and then we're gonna make a 2 by 3 on the back with one on the top corners and then some nether brick stairs. In the bottom corners. And then add a 2x5 of black concrete. And do that on both sides. And then let's get a oak slab. And add some over here for the little stair wall. And make the middle part three blocks wide. Then after that, we're gonna get some oak fence, some another brick fence, some white stained glass blocks, and some item frames. And add two another brick fence with one oak fence on the sides, an item frame with white stained glass block in it, and copy that on the other side. So let's add our two another brick fence with an oak on the sides and then two item frames like this and white stained glass blocks on the sides and then let's add another brick slab right there with the trip wire hooks on the sides for the coupling and then let's get some quartz slabs And on the front, add 13 quart slabs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And on the back part, add 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then we should place 5 black concrete. Then do the same thing on the other side. I'm tired. And uh, add five rows of three blocks wide black concrete. This should be five. And then going towards the front, add another four. And 
and then get some nether brick stairs and add upside down nether brick stairs underneath and then let's get some brown shulker box nether brick stairs iron bars nether brick slab and add two brown shulker box like this And then iron bars in between. And then on the outside, add nether brick slab. Like that. With nether brick stairs. Like that. And just do that back to back nether brick stairs on every uh, side or part. And then uh, after the back to back stairs, which we still have another corner, but also add a five another brick slab right on the ends, and then another five with two brown shulker box, and it should stop right here. And then in the left blocks, add an iron bars. with another brick slab and then we have to do the back to back another brick stairs like that And then after that, let's get some some black concrete and some block of quartz. And add a T-shape made out of quartz. And then some corners like that. And then another three right above. And then add regular facing nether brick stairs right on the sides. And then let's work on the back part. So let's add five black concrete. And build another row just like that. And then add one in between there. And then let's make our banners, which is going to be a, a loom, a black banner, well actually three black banners, a white banner, two, four black dye, and um, what's next? Ten white dye, and... That was the door, that was just my knee hitting the little back of my desk. And it's hard to explain. Um, so anyway, let's get the loom and place in your three black banners and nine of your white dye. And add a row on top and then press shift and left click and do that. Then do it with the middle in the bottom as well and then add the diagonally across like that just for one of them and then do that again but the opposite direction and then with the white banner add your two black dye and add the diamond shape in the middle and then uh going up to the diagonal like that and now let's add a border like that and 
then I uh, add uh, the white banner here for the little horse. And let's add two black banners on the sides. And on this side, I add the one that goes diagonally up that way. And then place the opposite one on the opposite side. And then place uh, this one right on the back. And then this one from this side on this side of the back. And then add a white banner on the sides there like that. And then a white banner right here. And then what do we do next? Uh, let's work on the cab. I only started the back part like that just so I could get the banners done so we didn't have to like make them again or get them again. You know, just save a little time. But uh, anyway, let's add a. Uh, uh, what shall we add? Uh, oh yeah, let's add a three by three of black concrete right on both sides. And now let's get a birch button and add the birch button down here like that. And then a 2x3 black concrete. And then add 3 here in this little triangle shape like that. And, uh, whatever. Um, and then let's add a 2x3 of it on the sides here like that. And then another 2. And let's get some block of quartz and add three on the top like that and then build a three by four black concrete and add a quartz stairs right on the sides put some nether brick slabs or not slabs nether brick stairs on the sides and some block quartz on these sides here. And then uh, let's get the gray stained glass block and gray stained glass paint and add the glass blocks on the front and on the sides add the glass panes. And then let's add a, a 3x4 of black concrete. They're just Cover that up. I'm surprised my night vision has been on this long. That's insane. And the command blocks I used for is still way over here. You can see these command blocks, they give me the night vision. I just like to use it. But anyway, after we add that, let's add the birch fence gate. And now on the sides, you add a birch sign. And the number added was 18070. Oh, and by the way, after my Union Pacific SB70M, um, I think it's actually going to be the another. SC70 ACE for Norfolk Southern, but instead it's going to be the Heritage Unit 1800 or 1801. Because it has a yellow in the front and then it's a light gray for the rest. That's going to be a really hard tutorial, so. Yeah, but it's going to be really cool, so I hope you guys like it. And we're also going to be building the Norfolk Southern. AC four four C six C F uh number oh I forget the number it has red in the front and then light gray for the rest. And then we're gonna be building that Norfolk Southern AC four four C six M which is mostly just black like this. It's pretty much just black like this, like this train, so yeah. <laughs> If you guys haven't noticed yet, there's actually an oak button on this piston here. That's kind of hard to notice, but it's a fun little detail I added. Actually, I will clear my inventory. Oh, let's get some dark oak trap door 
Oh, looks like I forgot to make the top part here. Which I'll just quickly do because that's a mistake. Alright, let's continue. So let's add a row of dark oak trap door on the top with some here like this for a little C shape. And add another two over here. It's like the SD7 ACE, but instead it has birch trap doors instead of dark oak in the front. It's a little different, and so is the back, because you can see the back it just goes in with a bunch of vent. And this one just comes right out, and then a little gap on the back, and then the rest. So it's really different. Um, and then anyway, let's add, uh, how much do we add? You know, let's, just, uh, add a three block wide row. And keep doing the three block wide row all the way until we get to the end of this white stripe here. Then comes the logo. And we'll do the details later. And then, anyway, let's add, uh, you know what, I guess we'll add that black concrete until the white stripe ends, three blocks wide, rows as well on this side. Oh, I forgot that block. Um, what else, let's get block of quartz. I'm um, let's add two up here, two up here, and then leave a block and add three, and do that on this side as well. Oops, no, I, we don't want 64 corn flour. If we did get the, are you kidding me? No, I got spruce planks. <laughs> what buttons am I pressing? Am I just pressing like, what, what am I pressing? I need to know, what am I pressing? Oh, that's what I'm pressing. And I've been pressing it with the number. I'm trying to get black concrete, too. Like, now I got gravel. Alright. Sorry about that. That was just a funny little mistake. Alright, let's add a... Let's fill the rest of this in with black concrete. And all around this part here, let's add a row of black concrete. And then, you know what? Let's add a row that goes up five blocks, like all the way up, like that. And do that on this side as well. And then connect that part on the top. And then let's add a row of nether brick stairs. And then we'll add a 2x3 of nether brick slabs, like that. And then let's add a black concrete with nether brick slabs on the sides. And then a 3x3 three three of nether brick slab. And then let's add a dark oak fence gate in the little gap here. And then let's add a row of black concrete connecting to the top there like that. And then make three like that. And let's get a bedrock and add two here and two here. And then add black concrete right on the top, like that. Wait. Wait a minute. Uh, something's not right. Oh, I get it. So I forgot to add a row of nether bricks here, so 
add a row of another brick stairs, and then add a five black concrete or six on the right side. All right, so on the right side it's six, and on the left side there's five, and then leave a block and add one underneath here. And on the right side, make that bedrock. And on this side, let's make it a piston facing this way. And then on top of it, let's add an oak button. And on the sides, actually, let's add a, another oak button just to the right of it. And then leave a block. Add another oak button. And then add two birch buttons on this side. And then add another three right over underneath, like beneath there. And then add the rest of this, a row of bedrock. And then fill the rest in with black concrete. And then add black carpet right on the sides. And then let's get some nether brick stairs and add some here, here, and here. And then add some dark oak buttons on the sides. And then let's add a a ladder actually you know what yeah let's you know what I officially declare that there's also one down here too I'd add one here but I don't think it just goes well um add a row of how many bedrock four okay add four bedrock on the top part, on the bottom add three, and then add a row of three black concrete, and then another row right underneath, and then uh, fill in these little holes here with some black concrete, and if you didn't fill this block in, it didn't matter because a dark oak trap door is going to be opened on this part. And then add two ladders right underneath there. And then another one, just a block over here. So just leave a block from these. On the right side, there's going to be like two of them. And on, underneath here, there's just going to be one. And then let's get ladders and add not letters, birch buttons, and add two of them right underneath there. And it's funny how I use dark oak trapdoors twice, because we're also using one right here as well. And at this point, I'm ready to make a banner. So let's get a loom, a gray banner, and two black dye, and place the gray banner, and then do a border with the black dye. And then uh, halfway up with that. I'm going to start calling it halfway up. I already used to call border, but not with the halfway up part. Um, anyway, let's fill this entire wall here with some black concrete. And then add just one over here, so simple like that. Ooh, when I was building this, it looks like I forgot to add a black carpet above that fence. Uh, let's get some nether brick stairs, some dark oak fence, some string, some birch buttons, an acacia button. Oops, I got the jungle button. I uh, don't get the jungle button. Get the acacia button and the birch button. Underneath here, let's add the acacia button, and then up here, over here, in the two blocks up there will be a birch button. And the rest of the spots with the birch button will be, add one here, 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 and here. And then after that, let's leave a block here and add one. And then, uh... For the rest of the gaps, add a nether brick fence. 
And then in between the spots where there's no birch button, add string, so there's like one there. And then these four gaps, add some. And then fill the rest in with some black carpet. And this part is actually going to be another brick stairs. And then right here is going to be another brick uh, fence. And then above will be a black carpet. And on the side, there will be another brick fence. And then add two black carpet like that. And then add a, two another brick fence on the sides with black carpet going like that. And over here, add a another brick stair. And add it there. And then staying here, let's leave this block alone. Leave this one alone. Add one. And then keep leaving a block. And just keep adding one. Until it should stop around here. And then in these three graphs, or not graphs, gaps, let's add uh, birch buttons. And the rest of the gaps will be a piece of string, all of it. And then above will be some black carpet. And what else do we need to add? Let's get some oak fence and some yellow carpet. And add oak fences right on the sides. And then add yellow carpet. And then add a get a birch front gate and a birch sign. And add a birch front gate here and open it for the double light. And then add your uh, number over here. I did 1807. 1807. And just do them with birch signs on both sides. And then I think all that's left really is just some birch buttons and oak buttons and just add two birch buttons here and one up here and then add one up over here and then leave a block add an oak button and then leave another block and add an oak button and let's just check to see if we're done and it looks like we are I think we are done so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys like leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy if you want more trains like this which there will be another one tomorrow and since it's the end when we're done building the train I'll go quickly fly over and you know what? let's do something quicker let's do that alright we're far over now all right, we're very close. We're we're going to be building this train tomorrow. And I hope you like it and yeah. So this is my train that's being uploaded tomorrow. If you guys like it, then please enjoy it and I actually made a tutorial on it a while ago, but uh I'm going to be redoing it because uh well, this one I was acting a little weird in it. Like, I'm not acting, but I was like, I was a little weird in it, so I just don't want to post it. I'm going to re-upload it soon. And yeah, and by soon, I mean like either tomorrow or in two days. And this train, I'm actually not going to be doing because a Crafty Fox already did a Union Pacific ET4 for AC. So, I'm not going to have to build this, so... If I did, if I were going to build it, this is what it would have looked like. So yeah, once I stop recording, I might demolish it. Well, it'll probably take a while to demolish, but I don't need to demolish it at the moment. Um. Oh, all the trains I have a train behind it are trains that I have a tutorial on or I've made a video. If it's not complete like this. I either stop recording or something messed up or something. 
I decided to stop recording in this train, which I'll make another time. Um, this one, uh, I think messed up, or I couldn't finish. But this one will be done soon as well. And this one was the Union, not Union, uh, Norfolk Southern Go Rail Heritage Unit, SD70 Mac. And this one will be done soon, but I couldn't actually complete it there. Um, and over here, I'm, I haven't built trains here in a while, because I just don't feel like it. I feel like building it on the other side, because... Yeah, over there is just not a good spot. I don't know why, I just... I just have a desire not to build it over on that side. Like, I have to build it over on that side, because I just feel like it, but... Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video now. And yeah, this skin, by the way, uh, was made on skin decks. I painted it. Well, I didn't like put a bunch of detail into the thing. It just, I used this little thing that kept randomizing the colors like this. So, I didn't like paint all the different colors. If I did, it would have took like probably a couple hours to make this skin. But because of something that, something, I don't, I can't really explain it don't know what it is. It only took a couple minutes. It took 10 minutes. Alright, well, I'm going to stop recording now. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in my Union Pacific tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wait. Let's get the thumbnail first. Let's get two of them. Bye.